Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Future Max. So once again, let me take this chance to thank all of you for your support to this channel. I am very much grateful. <laughs> okay, so for the past weeks and the past months, many of you were asking me, Teacher Max, what do ALTs really do inside the classroom? I mean, Teacher Max, we have seen your video about your day in the life as an ALT. We have seen your video about what you do during weekends. But we would appreciate if we would see a visual representation of what really transpires inside the classroom. And this vlog is the answer to those queries. <laughs> so in this vlog, I am going to show you some teaching demonstrations of the different parts I take when implementing a lesson either with a homeroom teacher or with a JTE or a Japanese teacher of English. So I entitled this vlog, My ALT Routine. And you might be asking, Teacher Max, why routine? Because what I will be showing and what I will be discussing to you are things that I always do every time I step inside the classroom. And actually, this vlog will be two parts. This vlog alone focuses on the things that I do inside the classroom. The second part would focus on the things I do outside the classroom. <laughs> so now, let's start with the elementary school. In the elementary school, class time is usually 45 minutes and I work with a homeroom teacher. Now, we do use a textbook in the elementary school and each unit actually lasts for a month because each unit is divided into four parts okay now the class flow in the elementary school usually starts with greetings followed by some singing and chanting and then after the singing and the chanting there would be activities which are also provided by the book that would reinforce the learning now there are times that i get to implement my own activity when the homeroom teacher asks for it and there are actually times that i volunteer my own activity <laughs> What you can see here is the teacher's guide and the book actually comes with a CD and that's what we use to play Let's Sing and Let's Chant. And as you can see, we also have other activities like Let's Watch and Think, Let's Play, we also have like Let's Listen and other activities that would actually reinforce the learning. So if you've seen the teacher's guide and now you might be wondering, Teacher Max, how do you do the Let's Play? How do you do the Let's Listen and other activities? Well, we have a smart board inside the classroom and we use that to play the CD. And usually the teacher and I work together in implementing those parts. When we play the CD, students get to watch different clips of children from around the world doing the singing, the dancing, and some sample dialogues. And now, let me show you some demonstration of the different parts of the lesson. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, remember, when Erwin says hello, everyone says hi. And when I say hi, everyone says hello. Wakata? Okay, let's try. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay, very good. Now, how are you? One more time. Give me a big voice and give me gestures. Tatweba. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm hungry. Okay? So let's try one more time. How are you? Okay, very nice. Look outside. How's our weather today? Okay, how's the weather? You're right. It's sunny. Okay? So now let's do our guest clap. Do you remember? Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Then shout yes. Okay. Tatueba. Yes. Okay, isho, isho. Let's try together. Okay, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yes! Okay, very nice. Sit down, please. Let's start English class. It's now time for us to sing the rainbow song. Are you ready? Yes! Okay, let's start. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I 
I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Good job. Speed up. One, two, three, go. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Good job! This time, let's do the alphabet chant. Okay? Okay. Ready? Let's start. One. Two, three, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N. O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, good job. Version two, ready? One, two, three, go. A, B, A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, H, I, J. H, I, J, K, L, M, N. O, P, O, P, Q. O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. V, W, X, Y, Z. Yeah, good job! Okay, let's play a game. What's this? Kore wa nan desu ka? Hmm, chigao, chigao, chigao. Sekai desu. Kore wa saikoro desu. Okay, this is a dice, okay? A fruit dice. So as you can see, there are pictures of fruits. Kudamono. Okay. So, we will play a dice game, okay? A fruit dice game. Okay? Okata? Okay, so, this is how we do it. Tatueba, okay? You have to roll the dice like this, okay? And look at the fruit on top, okay? In this case, the fruit is apple, okay? So, you say, oh, apple, it's apple. Okay, very easy, right? Okay, then the next person in the group rolls the dice again, okay? Oh, what's this? Lemon. It's lemon. Okay, ohata. Okay, so, kore wa grupu ichi, grupu ni, grupu san. Okay, I will give you five minutes to play this game. Name as many fruits as you can. Okay? Gokun. Okay? For everyone. Wakata? Okay. Very nice. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, go! Now, let's talk about the junior high school. In the junior high school, class time is 50 minutes and I work with a JTE or a Japanese teacher of English. And yes, we also use a textbook in the junior high school and a lot of worksheets. <laughs> now, the class flow in the junior high school starts with greetings followed by new words or new vocabulary, then a discussion of the target grammar or reading piece. And it usually involves a listening, reading, and speaking part. Now, after the discussion would be some activities to reinforce the learning. This is the new words list and you will see here the English vocabulary together with its Japanese counterpart. And here I get to read each word aloud and students repeat after me. In this way, they get to know the right pronunciation of words. What you are seeing is actually a sample worksheet and this is the listening part. This is where I get to read aloud the conversation and students listen attentively for them to answer the following questions. We have questions about the content and of course, true or false. Here is the reading part of the worksheet and I get to read aloud each line in the conversation and students repeat after me. Here they get to practice reading the sentences and they usually do it with the partner. Now you would see there are different levels from level 1 to level 4. Level 1 you get to see the whole text and then level 4 there are already parts that are missing. It challenges students' familiarity of the words. Now this is the speaking part of the worksheet where I get to demonstrate first the conversation using the target grammar and then after giving some instructions, students get to practice it with their peers. 
you have to remember that the Japanese teacher of English is the main teacher and that we are just assistants. That's why we're called assistant language teachers. Now, there are times when the JTE would request you to implement your own activity. In my case, I have some JTEs who ask me to make my own activities and I get to have 20 minutes of the class time to implement it. Okay, so now let me show you how I do things in the junior high school. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Okay, now please raise your hand if you want to answer the following questions. First, can someone tell me the weather today? Yes, how is the weather? You're right, it's sunny, very nice. What day is it today? Yes, it's Wednesday, very good. Now, what's the date today? Yes, you're right, it's November 13th. Now, what time is it? Look at the clock. Oh yes, it's 9 o'clock a.m. Very good. Please sit down everyone and please write down the date, the time, the day, and the weather in your evaluation sheet. Good morning everyone. How are you? Okay, so for you to sit down again, please answer the following questions. First, what did you have for breakfast? Yes. Okay, he had toast for breakfast. Very nice. Next question, how many classes did you have yesterday? Yes. Okay, you had six classes yesterday. Third question, what do you like to do in your free time? Yes. Oh, nice. He likes to listen to music during his free time. Fourth question, where would you like to visit in Japan? Yes. Okay, he would like to visit Hokkaido, okay? And last question for the day, what sports can you play? Yes. Okay, he can play volleyball. Me too. Very nice. Okay, so let's start English class. Let's practice new words. Please repeat after me. Number. Language. People. Her. Wow. Which? Or? Of course. Dear. Happy. Very nice. Now, please repeat it twice. Number. Number. Language. Language. People. People. Her. Her. Wow. Wow. Which? Which? Or, or, dear, dear, happy, happy. Okay, very good. Now, let's practice more right side people English, left side people Japanese, okay, for one minute. Then after that, switch, okay? Left side people English, right side people Japanese, okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, please listen carefully to the conversation. What language do people in Brazil speak? English? We speak Portuguese. But you speak English well. Does Maria speak English too? Yes, her English is very good. She plays soccer in America now. Wow! Which do you speak at home? English or Portuguese? Of course, Portuguese. One more time. Okay, please listen again. Slowly this time. What language do people in Brazil speak? English? We speak Portuguese. But you speak English well. Does Maria speak English too? Yes. Her English is very good. She plays soccer in America now. Wow! Which do you speak at home? English or Portuguese? Of course. Portuguese. Okay, 
start answering the questions. Let's practice reading. Please repeat after me. What language do people in Brazil speak? English. We speak Portuguese. But you speak English well. Does Maria speak English too? Yes. Her English is very good. She plays soccer in America now. Wow! Which do you speak at home? English or Portuguese? Of course, Portuguese. Okay, you have five minutes to read the conversation. Practice, okay? Remember the new words, okay? So practice reading the text. Five minutes now. Let's speak, okay? So first, please repeat after me. Which do you want? A or B? I want A. Okay, very good. So now, you will be using the words in the box. Okay, so for example, let me ask, which do you want? Money or love? <laughs> who wants money? Oh, who wants love? Yeah, of course, I want love. <laughs> okay, so you will be given five minutes to go around and ask your classmates about what they want. So for example, ask them, which do you want? A bike or a unicycle? Which do you want? A good grade or a good present? Which do you want? A new pen or a new mechanical pencil? Okay? So it's time for you to get to know what your classmates want. Ask them, which do you want? A or B? Are you ready? Okay, five minutes starts now. Go! Okay, for our last activity today, we are going to practice using adjectives, okay? So our game is what's in the box. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> so what are you going to do? So you have to stand right here behind the box. And of course, you have to put your hands inside and touch and feel, okay, the item inside the box, okay? And once you have touched, okay, the item inside the box, you have to describe it. You have to make use of at least two adjectives, okay, before you start guessing what the item is. Is that clear? Okay, so for example, I will put this item inside the box, okay? So you stand here and put your hands inside, okay? So as you put your hands inside, try to touch and feel the item, okay? And then start describing it. So for example, you say, it's round, it's hard. Now after describing, you start guessing what the item is. Um, is this a baseball? Am I right? <laughs> okay, is the idea clear? You have to describe and then guess, okay? But did I get it correctly? Is this a baseball? Oh yes, it is, okay. So I get a point for guessing it correctly. Are you ready? Yes! Okay, let's start! <laughs> you might be wondering, Teacher Max, what do you do when the JT is lecturing or the students are answering worksheets or drills? I usually go around and check who among the students need help. That is one primary role we have here in Japan as ALTs, and that is to help the children learn English. <laughs> so there you go. I hope this vlog gave you a clear picture on the roles that ALTs play inside the classroom and i hope that you look forward to the second part of this vlog where i will share with you my routines outside the classroom <laughs> so thank you thank you very much and i hope that you learned a lot and enjoyed at the same time in this vlog 
As I always say, enjoy life and live life to the max. See you in the next part.